And what we want to say is that there are two ways to look at the seerah. There is the story, and you can appreciate it just for being a story. So you laugh when something is funny, you cry when something is sad, you feel anxiety when there's a troubled situation. And this is just on the storytelling level, how we can appreciate the seerah. And there's nothing wrong with that. But what we're trying to say is that the seerah is so great that you can actually look at it at a deeper level. And every time you look at it at a deeper level, you appreciate it more. You appreciate the genius of the Prophet ﷺ more. You appreciate his planning, you appreciate his manners, you appreciate everything that he went through. And all it takes is looking at it in detail. And what we're trying to do today, inshallah, and of course everyone has read or taken a class or course on the seerah of the Prophet ﷺ. We want to take the stories that we all know, not new stories that nobody heard, because I don't know where you can get new stories. Everything is, is known, right? So we want to take the stories that we all know and focus on one aspect. And inshallah, hopefully all of us will see how the story changes tremendously just because now we focus on the details. So that means you can read it on the surface level, if we can say, just a story. Or if you look at it in more detail, you start to appreciate it a lot more. And the seerah of the Prophet ﷺ is not like the biography of any other human being on earth. Any other human being on the planet, you read their biography once, okay, it was interesting. You read it again, twice, written by someone else, okay. Three times, you're like, okay, enough, khalas. I, I heard, I remember this part, okay, I heard it. But the Prophet ﷺ, his seerah is not like that. You can keep looking at it again and again and again. And coming up with new analysis and new analysis and more analysis. And a story you heard your whole life, suddenly you realize, you know something, I never realized this part of the story. Just by now focusing on one aspect of the incident, it has a totally different meaning or a new meaning to me. And that's what we're going to try to accomplish, inshallah.